here in Hebron, just some fried eggs and toast. Okay, good morning. It is now Sunday, June 4th. Happy birthday, Kim. And I am going about um, seven miles away to a town in Nebraska called Deschler. We'll see how it is when I get there. In 600 feet, turn right. Interesting. Okay. And by the way, that park in Hebron was wonderful. Very nice. It had bathrooms. just doesn't work for me or you. All that rattling. Um, anyway, bathrooms and garbage and water and power. It was $10 for RVs and $5 for tents. I count as a tent because I'm not an RV. Okay, I stopped for this historical marker. This says Friedensau, located three miles north of this corner near the Little Blue River. The village of Friedensau, Peaceful Meadows, was established in 1874 by Lutheran missionary pastor John J. Kern. The town was first settled by his former parishioners from Indiana and Illinois. In 1885, according to a book written by Kern, there were approximately 70 inhabitants in Friedensau and the surrounding area. There were two German Lutheran churches, a school, post office, water powered grist mill, lum a oh, water powered grist mill, lumber yard, hotel, livery stable, blacksmith shop, and a number of other small businesses. As late as the fall of 1886, it was expected that the Rock Island Railroad would be extended from Fairbury through Hebron. Friedensau, Kiowa, Kiowa, Oak, and Nelson. However, due to the influence of area landowner John G. Deschler, the railroad was routed east through his property. After the railroad reached Deschler in 1887, the buildings in Friedensau were moved over the fenceless prairie and re relocated in Deschler. Only the Trinity Lutheran Church and its cemetery remain in the Friedensau area today. Okay. just passed a sign that said Deschler next to exits. I just find the word exits a little humorous considering that I'm on a, as someone pointed out to me, a secondary highway, not a country road. Anyway, there's the town water tower. I've noticed out here most towns have a water tower with the name of their town on it. Turn left onto Nebraska 85 East Spur, 4th Street. Turn right onto east. 
City Park, there's a swimming pool, um, bathrooms, um, oops, so I don't want to hit this truck head on. Um, so anyway, I guess you can just park anywhere and it's free camping. love to hear people talk about the benefits of raising kids in tiny towns like this or the uh, the negative part of raising kids in tiny towns like this my son was raised in the city and that doesn't mean anything I just wonder what the different um, ideas are that people have. So this is the city park and they have disc golf here. Whoops, where is it? I can see it. It's right in front of me. Is that it? Am I pointing at it? Anyway, disc golf, if you don't know what that is, Google it. It's kind of fun. Okay, good morning, everybody. That was a wonderful camp spot. I enjoyed it very much. In 1,000 feet, turn right onto 1st Street. Oops. I think I went the Head wrong... north on 4th Street toward Elm Street. Okay. Um, I am In going to... a quarter to... mile, turn right. Margaret, Shh. Okay, sorry. You're on the fastest route, you will arrive at 12.32 p.m. Let me see if I can turn her off. There we go. Okay. I, that was a great, great place here in Deschler, another really cute little town. And now we're going to go to Nelson, Nebraska. 
and I'll just keep this on for a couple minutes so you can see downtown Deschler. U.S. flag flying in the middle of town, right in the main intersection there. myself a patriot so I like the flag there's the little little tiny post office oh right next to a lawyer office